Morning! We are going to wean the rest of our sheep. We've just crept into August now and it is wet. It's really wet. Complete contrast to last year. The arable boys are having an absolute meltdown. I'm having the time of my life because the grass is growing. It is holding us back a fair bit though because a lot of places we usually put our, wean our lambs onto hay aftermath and we can't because they haven't cut their hay yet. It's probably the latest I've ever seen hay cut. And then obviously it's going to need a couple of weeks to green up after that. So we are a bit stuck for keep, but it's not the end of the world. So what's the plan? I'll tell you. So we're going to wean the lambs onto this. Uh, the grass just starting to shoot. It's all those young shoots in there. My pilo bits. Just gonna shoot down here and across there because I'm trying to train these lambs on electric here whilst they're at the farm and if they get out, they're contained before I go and take them off to the other places that we graze because you don't want phone calls that lambs getting out all the time. If they learn what the fence is here, we sweep. people turning up and not talking to us. I think I'm gonna have to break the ice guys. Got all my Hebrideans, little black ewes. I'll just show you something I recorded the other day when I got them in. So you can see the sort of lambs they produce. I still stand by the fact that if you don't have a lot of capital, you've got a bit of rough grazing, Go and buy yourself them little black ewes. On a bad year, they'll cost you five quid. On a good year, they'll be 25. It is the best return on investment you can get. The Scotchies at the back with a Suffolk on them. Best cost you can get, I reckon. Although, interestingly, in about the four lands we've had with Fly, they've all been Suffolks or Suffolk crosses or had some sort of Suffolk in them. I don't want to start a rumor, but they've all had a bit of Suffolk in them. Been a bit more prone to fly. They ain't been dirty or anything. <laughs> Look at my little spaniel go. <laughs> Good dog, Indy. Just started raining again. Said I never mind about the rain ever again after last year. So I'm not good here. But look at the lambs. Got a couple of top lambs I need to pull out. Uh, that's a lamb. I sheared that. Shore it. A couple of the smallest Hebridean lambs. Sheared those as well because we'll end up keeping them. It's the Suffolk Scotchie I was talking about. Look at that for a lamb. These are the ones I've gone about the shedding. That is a Scotchie over a um, easy care, like a shedding you. So she about 85% sheds. That is her lamb look, with a textile back on her. Look at that for a sheep. We've had them use like six years. Been unbelievable. These are the rest. That's another one out of a, out of a easy care Scotchy, back over a textile. That's its mum behind it there, look, you see her? Mottled face, that's her lamb. How good are they? What we should have done is held them for the last five years, just been holding the ewe lambs back, but always comes down to money. Always need the cash, always sell them. Probably shouldn't have done. Suffolk Scotchy. There's one I sheared. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> I didn't shear it. Yeah, right, so it's quite it's quite warm today and it's also very wet, so I don't want to pack these sheep in and end up getting problems. So we're just going to keep them nice and loose, run them through, draw the lambs off, move the lambs up there, leave the ewes out here. All these houses are going to be mad at me because these ewes are going to holler all night for them, but sorry. You know what I mean? I am sorry. Probably won't be able to hear them over the wind anyway. She be howling. There's another one there, look. Scotchy Easy Care, Texel Lamb, sheared that one. Really happy with the lambs. We haven't got as many lambs this year because we spent more money on more expensive ewes. And I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but the lambs are definitely better. Fingers crossed we've got some keep to fatten them on. Right, shall we do some drafting? So we haven't got enough gates because I'm a silly sausage, part two it, far away from the fence. So what we're gonna do is just leave it open on the side here, run the ewes through, run the ewes out of there, 
and the lambs can come back in the pen and then we can shrink the pen. But the ewes are pretty good at running through because they've done it all year, so. Just like that. Really good at running through. So we got over three quarters of the way sorting them out and it absolutely hammered down and I didn't like the way the lambs were all sort of penned up, heating up with each other. And then we we're gonna have to trailer them up there, getting hot and humid on the trailer and then dump them out in the field. Didn't like it at all. So I've let them out and we're gonna start again tomorrow. I just don't really wanna lose them because of things like that. It's a dry day tomorrow, so we'll try and do it then. I didn't think the rain would come in quite as heavy as it had, but it's gone straight through my coat, so I think we'll catch up at this point again tomorrow. Hello! Welcome back. It's a new day. Back to where we literally finished yesterday. Just sorted the lambs off again. Class of 2023. Yesterday was soaked through, heating up. I was going to have to move them on the trailer, wean them, asking for problems. I didn't want like pneumonia, stress, anything like that to kill them. So today they are a lot more dry. We had two inches of rain in the end yesterday. Absolutely caked it down. But here they are. I'm gonna get the trailer now, put them over there. Hold them behind the electric fence for two, maybe three days, and then we'll look at moving them off the farm once they've got their heads around the electric fence a little bit. Not sure it's gonna work great because I weaned some lambs off of those ewes the other day, so they're gonna be calling to them. They're probably just gonna break straight out the fence, but never mind. Probably gonna have to move those in a bit. Now I will bet you that they won't be in when we get back. They're in. I can't believe it. Worst lamb in the farm. The little guy. Come on, little guy. Hundred quid in May. Maybe. No. He just ran through it, right? No. Oh. Cheap, man. Right, last load. Little darlings are gonna break the top wire though, so I need to fix that. That's got them. Right, last job of the day. I have a group of tags that have been getting out. They've been very naughty. They've been in this field, and it's next to the fruit orchard, and they're getting out and just, well, they shouldn't be out. So we've got to go and catch them. What's the matter? Is she tubing? But I've got to find them first. The world and his wife told you where they are. Yeah. You know where they are. Well, I know roughly where they are because everyone keeps texting me. I feel better every day. The troubles I had have been washed away. I'm cleaning up my act and moving on. In the silence of my room I'll sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me Yes, we are still lambing. Like a pillow on my face No one can hurt or invade my space I still walk the streets with my head high And though I wonder where I'd be if no See, the little lamb uh, one of the hoggets obviously got tucked when we were dipping. Uh, yeah. Farmer of the year, innit? I mean, they're not really doing any harm, but next they'll be on the road, won't they? So, right, job done. I'm gonna go pack the prattery up now. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube. Till next time.